Salam, Manlian Hastam. I was born in Canada, but I've lived for many years now in Austria and it's really home. I have three sons. The youngest, David, is helping me, thankfully, with my YouTube channel and all the editing, etc. And I'm very grateful. And I also have three grandchildren. I'm a mom, a grandma, a sister, a friend, and a princess. Would you like to know how that's possible? Then come along. Princess, really? What? How is this possible? I know. I'm a grown woman, and here I am talking about princesses. And I admit, I have enjoyed watching films about princes and princesses. They lead such extraordinary lives, or at least that's what it seems. But the truth is, each one of us, right where we are, can lead an extraordinary life and be part of a love story that can compete with no other. I need to back up a little bit and tell you a little bit more about this story and where to read about it. This is my Bible my husband gave me many years ago and I not only love to read it, but I treasure it because it came from him. And uh, but this is a Bible and it is there's two parts to it. There's the Old Testament and there is the New Testament. There's 39 books in the Old Testament and there's 27 in the New Testament. That makes 66. The Old Testament begins with a story that is very familiar to, I'm sure, many of you. In the beginning, God. And the God that we're talking about here is the God in three persons. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And God created the earth, the heavens and the earth, and he created everything on the earth, and he created people. Adam and Eve, the first people. They had a beautiful garden, an amazing relationship with the true and living God, they had a job to do in the garden that was fulfilling and fruitful. I, there were no weeds. In the true sense and also symbolically, I would say. But there was one tree they shouldn't eat from. The tree of the knowledge of good and evil. But one day, they listened to the snake who told them half lies, half truths that, oh, God didn't really mean that. Well, yes, he did. But he gave them a choice to eat from it or not to eat from it, to trust his wisdom and to believe his goodness or not. Sadly, Adam and Eve decided that they thought they were smarter than God and they made their own choice in this area. And it broke the relationship with God. It brought sin into the world that touches every one of us. And very sad part of the story, but there is hope. Because God promises right from the beginning, he will send someone to set it straight to make it possible for that relationship to be again more than what it was for them in the garden. But through the generations, oh my word, hills and valleys, man trying to do things on their own and, and sometimes trusting God. There's moments in the Old Testament where there are men that and women that trusted God, but they were still not able to set that relationship straight on their own. 
simply impossible. They needed help. The help that God promised. And in the New Testament, so we're going from the more of the history and uh, the beginning and the history and talking about the kings and prophets and many things to the New Testament. The four Gospels talk about God's loving, wonderful answer to setting that relationship straight. And just like in the garden, where a choice was given, in the New Testament, there's also a choice that each one of us has to make. And in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, we hear about the life of Jesus. God came to earth in human form. Fully God, fully man. To die on the cross to pay for our sins. In the fourth gospel in John, it says that God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life, eternity with God. And the verse after that says he didn't, that Jesus didn't come to condemn us, he came to save us. And by taking that condemnation on himself, is there a better love story? But it's a love story, just like every other. The person has to receive the love, and in this case, has to say, I, I need this forgiveness. I am part of this fallen humanity, and I need forgiveness. And I can't pay for this in myself, but Jesus did. And you can say, I want this forgiveness for me too. I want that restored relationship with God where he is my God and I trust him and he leads me. It's a beautiful story, a true story. And it is a story that has a happy ending that goes on forever. So the question is, have you already received this forgiveness? Do you want that restored relationship with God? It's possible. It's a choice that each one of us has to make for ourselves. So, and then eternity. Then always to be with the Lord. That is how you become a princess, a daughter of the King of Kings, our God, our loving God, who gave his son for us. It's a gift, no work involved, but must be received by a choice that you make. So as I said, that's how you become a princess. And more about what that means to be in this new family with this new heavenly father. And how does this all work? So I invite you to come back and hear more.